let's see what we have for you today, Taurus. The energy at the, bo at the bottom of the deck is the one of the Ace of Pentacles. And this is already telling us that there is a new potential beginning coming up for you, which has great potential for success. A new start, which can be really something that you will have for the rest of your life. Whenever you have the seed around you, you know that you're about to start something that will go in the foundation of who you are and overall how you live your life. And so this is just really exciting immediately right off the bat. Let's see how it will connect to the rest of the reading. First of all, up here I see the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is someone around you who has a tendency to be, of course, nice and in a way talk to you a lot, but they're not showing you what they really feel. The King of Swords is someone who engages in conversations, but also someone who is keeping something behind that mask underneath the surface. And they have this tendency to become a little distant, a little protective of themselves. And what I'm seeing here is that this person has a very deep focus on you. They're looking towards you and they are almost studying you, understanding, trying to understand who you are, who you really are, who you want to be. And they're trying to overall understand if you are a match together. They feel it already deep inside in their heart. That's already a yes. But they have a tendency to um, overthink things, you know, to always uh, make those feelings pass through their mind and find the logic behind it as well, if that makes sense. Okay, I like that person, but does it make sense? Is it someone I should like? Is this going to be a good match? This is just their personality. It doesn't mean that they like you any less. In fact, it means that they actually like you a lot since now they are spending their time and energy in thinking about the situation and overall, just finding a good reason why to give it a chance and open up completely. Now, this King of Swords is someone who definitely has a tendency to be protective and make sure that they don't say too much. But I do see something here which will transform them into the Knight of Cups instead, who is someone who open up their heart completely, no matter what the consequences. Right next to it, in fact, we have this Two of Cups. And, you know, this is clearly talking about the two of you spending some alone time together. But I also see it as drinks. Chances are that this person is losing some of that inhibition because of maybe some drinks, some alcohol, nothing to be concerned about, but just something small, which is helping them taking down that guard and revealing who they really are and how they really feel. With the Two of Cups, you have an energy that allows you to really discover one another. Deep inside, not just what the person is wanting to show you, you know? This is understanding things that you didn't understand up to this point about this person. You're about to see a more vulnerable side of them. And I do believe you are going to like it. You are going to enjoy this very much. With the Two of Cups, we have a potential new relationship, but you're still at that moment where you're also being cautious with your feelings, understanding yourself as well, uh, how you react, how you feel. You are wondering perhaps why is your heart feeling so connected to them already? You know, you might not be like the King of Swords, but you are also someone who thinks about if what you're doing right now might have negative consequences for your future. And that makes perfect sense. But overall, this specific night, the two of you are letting go of any doubt, any fear, and you're just really opening up to each other. 
and it's going to be beautiful because the two of cups brings passion brings love it's going to be just wanting to hear more about this person and then wanting to get to know your past and the more you talk the more the more they want to hear from you it's almost like they're becoming addicted to you right now and so we see how this is clearly happening in a place where the two of you might be alone or just really few people are around you right now. This four of wands to me is representing your home environment or their home environment. You might be on the couch and just looking in each other's eyes, drinking a little bit, um, almost touching each other, the, the shoulder, the hand. It's a really passionate night and it's going to be really fun for you. Also, the four of wands might be talking about how you suddenly will feel at home with them and same thing from them. There is this new foundation that you're about to build and that perhaps you're already building and it's something that it's going to bring stability into this potential new relationship. You see it also with the Ace of Pentacles. Now we understand what this new beginning, stable, stable beginning was about. And it's clearly something that has to do with them. Look at this. In the middle of the reading, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands right next to the Knight of Cups. You know when you see these two cards that this person is going to make you feel like the Queen of Wands. Regardless of your gender, just the energy. And so to know what that means, we have to look into what this card uh, actually represents. This is someone who usually is a VIP, a star, someone on a stage, uh, the center of the attention, someone with high standards and also a person who's able to surround themselves, create an environment with things and people who meet those standards. And so you know that their full attention is on you now, Taurus. They cannot see anything else. It's almost like they have a tunnel vision towards you right now and they cannot help it. It's just what, what's happening that night and I do get the sense that it's going to happen later as well, not just this specific instance. And so right now you see how this person is giving you a lot of positive energy they're becoming bold now you almost don't recognize them anymore because at this point they're just being fully open they will probably tell you that they have been looking at you thinking about you for a very long time i do see here someone telling you about the first time that you met how they felt the fact that maybe they had to really go away in that moment because they felt too attracted to you. They wanted to talk to you. They wanted to connect with you. And to them, doing this right now is almost like a dream coming true. No matter how big or small, to them, this is a milestone. Something that they have been wishing for, but they have been delaying because of that King of Swords energy. Now, down here, as far as the evolution of the situation, we see the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I do believe that after this night, they're going to be something, they're going to do something unexpected, something that you're not seeing coming at all, but, but which will uh, determine a new beginning, will start a new chapter in between the two of you. And it's going to leave you speechless. I clearly see it with this card. Something that it's going to be unexpected but beautiful at the same time. There is a fear. There is something with the Nine of Swords which is definitely on a different level from anything that we talked about so far. A potential issue, obstacle that might delay things a little bit further but I do not perceive this as a blocker. This is anxieties and worries about something that perhaps they need to tell you, something that could change the dynamic between the two of you. And so let's look into these two cards. 
I want to understand what this new beginning is going to be. Um, overall, what of unexpected they're about to do or tell you. Then let's see what this fear is about. Let's look into how this connection will evolve now that they have opened up to you. Now that they have told you how they really feel and what they really want out of this potential relationship. Let's see how this passionate connection is going to transform from this moment forward. I'll be continuing the reading in the extended video linked below in the description box. Follow me there if you want to dive deeper into the messages. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning, so please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading tours. We have seen here a very beautiful conversation, a deeply revealing conversation as well from a person who wanted to tell you these things for the longest time, but they were trying to convince themselves that this was something that they clearly wanted to do and not without fearing the consequences or, or a potential negative outcome. Now they find the strength also because of some alcohol, maybe a couple of drinks that will allow them to lose that inhibition. And by the time they realize that they're actually opening up to you, they will feel confident. They will see that you are perhaps feeling the same way. And that will just start this new beginning in between the two of you, which seems very beautiful, Taurus. This is really, really passionate and clearly showing you that this person cares about you, which is always a beautiful thing. Now, down here, we got two cards which took us in a little bit of a different direction, right? Ace of Swords, something more than this person is going to tell you. And also something here with the Nine of Swords, which might be a little obstacle or challenge with the Chariot. You have to know that whatever the, the challenge, you are going to overcome it. If you have the energy of the Chariot, you could achieve anything. And so let's see what the, this Ace of Swords is. Let's see what the Nine of Swords. But let's start from this unexpected message uh, thing that they will tell you or do is. Let's look into that. Hmm. To share it again. So yes, we get the confirmation there. Wow. These cards are almost scary to me, I have to be honest, because...